John walked into the room. There was a gun on the floor, stained with blood. That's a question arc, and we're going to explain what those are in today's episode. Hi, I'm Jed Hearn, author of Fires of the Dead, and this is Daily Writing Advice. So question arcs are a term that I coined back in, I think it was a 2017 article that I wrote on Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and question arcs, as I define them, are essentially the specific questions that readers are wanting answered at times during a book. So a question arc begins or is opened when a question is raised in the reader's mind. So this can be as big as who used the blood-stained gun that's on the floor that John's found, or it can be as small as, oh, I wonder how this character will react to this other character bringing them flowers which maybe isn't small if you're writing a romance, that might actually be the main point of it. Essentially, question arcs are my way of kind of reminding myself to make sure there's always suspense. I think the more I write, the more I realize that suspense is a really critical aspect of storytelling. And definitely in Fires of the Dead, which is my most recent book, um, suspense was a massive focus for me. It was all about making sure that on every single page, there was at least one question arc running through the book. So... The intention behind this is to make sure that readers always have a reason to continue. They always have a reason to keep turning pages. So you want to make sure that on any page in your manuscript, there should be at least one, hopefully more than one, question arc running at the same time. Now the Harry Potter books are a perfect example of this. They are constructed with multiple plot threads, and each of these plot threads has different question arcs. So if we take Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, for instance, there are several question arcs running through this. So there's the question arc of what is Draco Malfoy up to? Is he a Death Eater? Is he trying to like pull off this trap at Hogwarts? Like what's going on with him? You have the question arc of will Harry and Ron's sister, how have I forgotten her name? This is horrible. I'm a massive Harry Potter fan. Will Harry and Ginny get together in this book? Will Ron and Hermione get together in this book? Um, what What's happening with Dumbledore and all of the Horcruxes that he's searching for. There's a ton of different question arcs going on throughout this story. And the benefit of having this kind of ensemble piece of question arcs of plot threads weaving through your book is that if readers hate the plot thread that's about the romance, they may really like the one that's about the suspense, the one that's about the murder, the one that's about the mystery. And this gives them more reason to keep reading. Ultimately, I think suspense is part of the equation of writing a good story. It's not the full thing, because ultimately it doesn't matter if readers just burn through the pages and there's they're left with kind of a hollow feeling at the end because there was no character or there was no plot or there was no interesting theme or whatever. But it is a crucial element, because without having the suspense to pull readers through your book, they're never going to experience the character. They're never going to experience the plot. They're never going to experience the setting. So use question arcs as one way, one tactic to make sure that there is constant suspense throughout your book. And if you want to read more about question arcs, I wrote a very in-depth article for the Better Novel Project a few years ago about questions arcs in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. So I'll link to that in the description for this, and you can check that out if you so desire. So, I've been Jed Hearn, and this has been Daily Writing Advice. Now go and write extraordinary stories. I'll see you next time.